Hey everyone, hope you all are doing A1. I just wanted to give you an update on a video I made a few weeks ago and I called it Victim's Advocate, Amber Heard or Molly Golightly. Molly did a live bragging that someone from California who is at the Johnny Depp trial sent her a text message asking her to be in the Johnny Depp documentary. She planned on claiming that she was a victim's advocate. When she uh, was talking about this in the video that she made, well, it kind of burnt my bum a little bit because of the fact that she's not a victim's advocate, as we all know. And for her to go and picture the scene, watching a Johnny Depp documentary of the trial, and seeing Molly Golightly's face pop up on the screen claiming to be victim's advocate. Like, ugh. Moving along. That wasn't going to fly with me. So, I made a video which will be down in the description below. If you haven't seen it yet, I recommend that you go and watch it. It's quite comical. I think it's comical because it's just simply ridiculous. It's absolutely it's absolutely ridiculous for her to go and lie about something like that, especially where if you've been watching the trial at all or if you heard anything about it, there's been enough lies surrounding that situation. A few more will hurt. <laughs> And, you know, it's like the icing on the cake, like, you know. Anyway, so, this was a few weeks back. Time went on, and Molly planned on going back the last week of the trial. And I'll let, ye, I'll let her tell you about it. They're doing a documentary on Johnny Depp. And when I was outside the courthouse, on i don't know which day it was because i was there four days i was there there for court day two three four and five and i don't know what i said but they got a kick out of it and they did call me a couple times and the one woman has said i showed it to everybody your footage <laughs> she's like my husband and everything they loved it so randomly i i get a text message saying, we would really like you back at the Johnny Depp trial next week. I was like, really? They're like, we'll put you up at the Ritz Carlton. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be in it. They want to get more stuff from me. So, and I'm going to give it to, listen, I got a lot of shit. So, okay, right on. Cool for her, right? But then, when I found out the reason they wanted her on the documentary, I felt, well, this is what she said to her viewers. Now, there's only one thing. Let's get this straight, because this might come back and bite me in the ass. If I say to these producers and these filmmakers that, She's doing an injustice for real victims. You have to understand that it's coming from a place like me. I'm not, I've not been abused by men like that. I've never been, I've never been with a rock star. I mean, if you want to include AJ, but. Oops. <laughs> wow. It's easier to sum up what Molly knows at this point. What the hell does one have to do with the other? That's how lame she is. Apparently she thinks that only rock stars beat their women. Quite a brainiac. You can tell by that comment just how entitled she actually is. I'm going to go down there and I, I definitely want to say that my audience, and I want to be able to speak up for you and give... If you would have went through with going there, and if you would have lied and called yourself a victim's advocate, yeah, 
Yes, it probably would bit you in the ass. Then you probably would have had to pay your own hotel bill at the Ritz-Carlton. Now that would have sucked. So the time came and her and Princess went to Fairfax, Virginia. They stayed the night at a hotel. The last, the last morning of the trial, it was Friday morning, May 27, 2022. She drove by the line outside of the courthouse. It wasn't a matter of her waiting in the lineup because she already got kicked out of court. Uh, when she was there a few weeks ago, she got caught filming in the courthouse and there's rules that you can't film in the courthouse. She got her bracelet snipped off a few weeks ago. She knew that there was no way she was going to get in again in that courtroom to, to see the trial. Her and Princess drove by. Guess it's time to go back to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'll let her tell you what happened next. Restaurant. And remember, I told you guys, I was supposed to be part of the Johnny Depp documentary. I never heard from the, from the producers. Um, I get a text message. You don't say. It's the woman from the documentary. She's like, hey. Here it is. Yesterday, 1.39. I brought my best outfits. I did my hair, I did my makeup. 1.30, are you here? I said, we were there all day yesterday. We were not in the court yesterday. Princess didn't try to get into the court. I didn't. I can't, because they take your ID and plus, I'm good. We were there all day yesterday. We left at noon to go back to Hershey. We didn't see you or hear from you, so I figured the thing was a bust. And this producer and her crew are from California. And then at 3.05, she writes back and says, oh, shoot, bummer, sad to miss you. And I said, good luck and take care of yourself. I was so dying to be a part of your project. So they did get like one clip of me outside in the very beginning. So I was gonna go back, you know, chase that cloud. Definitely gonna go chase that cloud. You think you think that if an opportunity comes up to be in a Johnny Depp documentary, oh you you got the wrong line, hon. You know my ass is gonna be there. I'm still not sure what that business is all about where she cocks her head all the way to the side and looks for a couple of seconds. I don't know what that's all about, but moving on. Well, as you can see, when she turned the phone towards the camera, she only left it there for a couple of seconds, but uh, I took a screenshot of it so you can see exactly what it says. So yes, most of us are pretty uh, hip to your game. Uh, we can almost call your next move, so of course you would be there right away. I mean, a lot of us would be there, but I mean, uh, I would be like, just say if, uh, if it was me, I would, if it was a documentary about the actual trial, then I would, you know, I would say, okay, well, I, I want to support Johnny and I'm here for him. And I would talk about that. I wouldn't pretend that I'm something that I'm not. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get people pissed off, especially real survivors that don't want, like, I mean, I don't know what people are thinking, but like people like, I'm thinking, you know, like Molly and for sure Amber, you know, it's, it's a drag to be, uh, you know, in that situation to begin with. To be beat around like, uh, you know, to be at the end of someone's boot for years upon years and, and no joke. And, you know, and then for two scabs to like pretend to be the faces, like, what are we, a joke? No, we're not a joke. So, no. 
You know, like, there's none of this bullshit. But anyways, you could have did it the right way and nobody would have said a word. We would all have been jealous because you got to be in the documentary. I personally wouldn't have been jealous if you were there lying. I would have been pissed off. And a lot of us wouldn't have been jealous in a bad way. You know, who doesn't want to be close to Johnny Depp? Not too many people. So, but then after all that, then she goes and says this. Um, sometimes, listen, I'm sorry that I called myself a domestic, a, uh, a victim's advocate, but guess what? I'm not technically a victim's advocate. Could I be a victim's advocate? Go back to school uh, at 50? Because my, my son's only a freshman. I would never go back to school when I turn 50, when he graduates. So um, I think that using my voice and just saying I support victims of any abuse, whether it be man, children, women, I, I support real victims. And I confront the people that I suspect are not good people. That's really, really, really. So I was in shock. My mouth dropped. In the many, many, many hours of footage I have watched of this girl, Molly Golightly has never, ever, ever, ever said that she was sorry. And yeah, I was completely like flabbergasted because, you know, when I watch her, I think there's so many things. If she put all this energy to good, she could accomplish many awesome things. And, you know, when at the end of every video that I watch, I'm always feeling the same way. So when I seen this part of it, and like uh, as uh, some of you know, like this subject itself touches home with me because that's a part of me, okay? So when she said sorry, I'm like, oh my God, yes. If you went to school, uh, like snapping your fingers and becoming a victim's advocate for DV, is not going to happen to anybody probably not even myself with the experience that i have i would still need schooling and other people would still need school but besides that molly golightly is talking sense and that made me feel good it made me feel like there's hope it, i mean i'm sure anybody that hears this is going to feel the same way like we all know her. We all know that, you know, this is a, a rare thing. Like, she's done some mean things and stuck to them. And usually when I watch her, that's what I see of her. I've tried to, and I've hoped for the best with her, but she proves the same thing every time. So what do you do? when a, a, a person doesn't try to be good in, the, in those ways, right? So, I'm sure you people know what I'm saying, you know, and then, so yeah, I thought, right on, you know, big, good things are happening here, like, the world is changing, <laughs> you know, like, what, what next? And then watch the next clip. Video. For Jeff, and you're I'm a me. victim's advocate you're and I'm here for Johnny. Me. Creeper. What is your degree? Creeper. You degrees? What was Creeper. Creeper. My dude, what does that even matter? You're asking me in public if I've been raped? What business is that of yours? You were screaming, attacking domestic violence victims. When? You were never a victim of violence. So why do you think you understand? You I blame victims. I'm a victim's advocate. You're not. I'm here you supporting said, Johnny because he is the victim. There's only one person that I've supported Amber. You. There were five of you. Them. 
Oh, you're, there's five of us. Well, In guess person. what? The world. And this happened. What victims have you helped? List some. Have you okay. helped suicide? Or do you cause suicide? Whoa! You Watch people. your words, sweetheart. Because when you attack people in groups, you can cause suicide. Are you are you making a threat that you're have going you to hurt yourself? Suicide before? Have I what? Have you stopped anyone from killing themselves before? I, I, I didn't know that that was my job, but I certainly would if I could. Well, you don't have any examples of victims you've helped. You're Absolutely. Screaming. No, I do. I devoted my life to being a victim's advocate. You're That's not, why I'm here. The police are there. You can ask them, are you allowed to film in the courthouse? No, you're they not. No, and you were kicked out for You changed the, the subject courthouse. 15 times. When Molly Golightly and Princess were doing their drive-by Friday morning, the last day of the trial of closing argument, excuse me, she spotted Christina. You know the photo of uh, Molly holding the flyer that were put out on the uh, windows of jurors' cars? Well, apparently it was Christina that had gave her the flyer and, you know, snapped the picture of of Molly at the same time. So when she saw her as she was driving by, she decided she was going to stop and confront her about what had happened. Concerning the apology, I only realized about a half an hour later what she was referring to. And she was referring to this video that she had put up on her channel. Not that she wanted to, she wasn't, she wasn't uh, apologizing because she wanted to pull the wool over, uh, you know, the, eye, uh, the eyes of uh, this documentary that was supposed to be being made. It's because of a video that she put up and so I was fooled for about 30 minutes and okay, fine. I should have seen it coming and I kind of did, but I didn't, but I did, but I didn't, you know how it is, but yeah, she fooled me. So I thought I would include that in there so that I think it's important that to show that we can easily be our minds can be manipulated. Like, I think it's because I want the world to be a good place in general, right? But anyway, that's neither here nor there.